the teacher. Hello again, everyone. I'm Teacher Marvin, and I'm an educator. I'm making some educational vlogs related to education or teaching itself. So in my previous vlog, I've talked about tips on what to do before, during, and after board examination. So those tips were based on my experience and those tips really helped me when I took my examination. So I hope that these tips will also help you when you take your examination soon. Now, if you haven't watched the video yet, you can watch it. I can just, uh, I just included the link, okay, in the description below. You can just simply click it and watch those tips that might be very helpful in taking your exam. So for today, we will be talking about th the techniques on, or yeah, techniques in answering let items. Okay, so these techniques might be very helpful, specifically if you're not really sure of your answer. So there are instances like that. I also experience that in such a way that I'm not really sure, okay, of my answer. I haven't reviewed it or some items hindi ko rin naman, yeah, hindi ko maalala. So I made use of these techniques. But syempre, of course, uh, reviewing Reviewing is still the best way to pass your board examination, alright? Okay, so what are these tips? So this, I'll be sharing it now to you. So the first technique is finding which option is different. So I have here a question from Let Reviewer. So the question is, which statement on student diversity is correct? Remember that when we talk about student diversity, this is something that is that, that should be celebrated, right? And the teacher should take uh, take uh, it positively, right? Because we have to promote diversity inside the classroom, okay? So we have the options A, B, C, and D. Now you have to see a pattern, okay, among these options, alright? So letter A, halimbawa, teacher must do his or her best to reduce student diversity, okay? So we have a negative word that is used in option A. What is that word? The word reduce, okay? Because we don't reduce diversity inside the classroom, right? We promote diversity inside the classroom. We take advantage of diversity, okay? In option letter B, okay, the less the diversity of student in the class, the better for teachers and students, okay? Do you see any negative word also here? Yes, definitely. We have the word less, okay? Again, we promote diversity, so uh, we don't lessen the diversity inside the classroom, right? Okay, and letter C, the teacher should accept and value, value diversity. As you can observe here, there's no negative word. In fact, it's, it's stated that uh, the teacher should accept, right? And should value this diversity inside the classroom. And option D states student diversity is purely due to students' varied culture. The term purely okay, makes the statement negative. Why? Because there are many factors that brought about or that can bring diversity inside your classroom. It's not just about their culture, okay? Your students are diverse when it comes to age, to gender, and uh, to learning preferences, right? Abilities. So these are some of the other factors that could, that could uh, bring diversity inside your classroom. So you have seen already a pattern here, right? There are negative words used in three options, A, B, and D, okay? So what makes, uh, what is different among the options? It's letter C, yes, because this is the only option which tells something positive about the, about diversity itself, okay? So that's the first strategy, okay, or technique, all right? Finding which option is different. I have another question here from, uh, from a let reviewer. So the question is, to make the students get focused in the discussion, what, what must you do, especially when your students un are unruly and noisy. So this is about classroom management, okay? So what are you going to do? 
Letter A. Employ innovative strategies. Explore various means of giving sanctions. Okay? Remember, here again, we are looking at the option which is different. Now, in letter B, can you see ne a negative word here? Yes, yeah, so we have the word sanction, okay? Now, in classroom management, as much as possible, we could we should avoid sanctions because um, that could that would affect negatively the, the learning of the children, all right? So that's the, the best way to handle unruly and noisy students, okay? Letter C, do we, ha do we see again another negative word here? It state, states, ignore the students who are misbehaving. So we have the term ignore, okay? So another negative word. And letter D, refer the unruly and noisy pupils to the guidance office. Do we, do we immediately send our students to the guidance office whenever they, are, they behave unruly or they are noisy inside the classroom? Hindi po. Kaya nga, we have studied several techniques of classroom management na pwede nating i-apply. Okay? If it, is, it can be handled inside the classroom, then it should be handled by the teacher. So, you have seen again a pattern here. There are three negative terms, okay, uh, that uh, you have seen, okay, in the items. Okay? B, uh, sanction C ignore D sending to the guidance office all right so what makes the option or which option is different which option is add it's letter A okay employ innovative strategies all right that's one actually one of the factors why or one of the reasons why students behave unruly inside their classroom is because they are they're bored okay because they don't feel challenged in, inside your classroom okay uh, remember that you're teaching generation z right now okay so what's the characteristic or characteristics of this generation z okay um hindi na sila pwedeng umupo lang sa loob ng 45 minutes okay just listening to you they must be doing something because these are i mean the learning styles of these are you know uh, manipulatives i mean uh, learning by doing should be used and um, you'd like to explore their imaginative so dapat naka-anchor yung teaching strategy natin based on the learning styles the preferences of our students all right so it, sh it should be something innovative all right so the correct answer here is letter a okay very good so we're done i think we're good with the first technique finding which option is different okay so we have another technique here okay you can make use of this in other examinations aside from let okay you can do cancellation all right if you're not sure of your answer you can make use of this this is very effective okay so we have another item here learners are more likely to internalize and follow classroom rules when all right so it's important that when you're answering a let item you have to find a keyword in the stem or in the question itself so in this question what's the keyword the term internalize exactly okay so they must internalize they must own these classroom rules okay so letter a we have the teacher clearly explains the rules she prepares so if the teacher just explains the rules will the students own the rules will they internalize the rules definitely not okay they would just understand it they would just comprehend what's the rule but um, it's not automatically na they're going to internalize it already okay so we can cancel already option a all right we have another option the learners know the punishment for not following the rules okay hindi mo pwedeng tulungan yung estudyante mo ma-internalize yung rules para maun nila yung rules and regulations and they would respect the rules and regulations kapag ka, ang ipinipresent mo sa kanila sanctions punishments okay kasi kapag ka ganyan 
magbe-behave lang sila kasi may kinakatakutan sila. But they did not really internalize the importance of the rules. Okay? So, in uh, option B, we can cancel it again. Alright? X again siya. Now, say we only have two options. C and D. Alright? So, sige, simulan natin sa letter D. Sabi sa letter D, the teacher gives additional points to those who follow rules. Will it be effective? Well, um, probably. Okay? Um, sa umpis up, it will be effective. But the question here, balikan natin what's the key term sa question, internalize. Okay? So, kapag ka-internalize, kapag magbibigay ka ng additional points, hindi nila i-internalize yan eh. Right? Ang tawag nga natin dyan, external motivation. Right? Okay? At magbibehave na lang sila kasi may reward. Paano kung inalis mo na yung reward? Okay? Will, will they still follow the rules and regulations? Probably, baka hindi na. Kasi, hindi nga nila na internal. They're, they're just following the rules because they are expecting for additional points. Okay? And letter C, so, kakancel na rin natin sa letter D. Kaya, the best answer here is letter C. So, the, the learners participate in the rule-making process. So, sa paggawa ng rules and regulations, dapat, meron kang sinet na mismo na classroom rules and regulations. And, when you're presenting that to your class, okay, pagkatas mo ma-present yung ginawa mong rules and regulations, they could react to those rules and regulations. And ex you explain kung talagang kailangan yung ipatupad, you explain, okay? And you could add some rules and regulations, okay? Para if they are, they are, they are uh, part in making the rules and regulations, they, are, they will become more committed, okay, in respecting and following these rules, alright? So, the answer here, through cancellation, the correct answer here is letter C, exactly. They should be, they should participate in the rule-making process. So, that mas maging student-centered then yung approach natin, alright? Okay? The sec that's the second technique. Another example using the second technique, which is cancellation, um, for a teacher to establish and maintain consistent standards of learners' behavior, they should do all except. In answering this question, kailangan natin makita yung na yung na 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 highlight, ano? Nung nakakapital, nakakapitalize because this is very important. Sometimes naniniglek natin itong mga terms nito. Ano ba yung mga kadalasang kinakapitalize? Yan, except, no, not, okay? So, you have to be very keen on those uh, information, okay? So, letter A. So, ang inahanap dapat maging consistent sa standards of learner's behavior. Letter A, give immediate feedback to reinforce the appropriate behavior of learners, okay? So, kapag uh, may, mali, may mali siyang nagawa, misbehavior, you give feedback. Kapag uh, may na-display siyang proper behavior, you give feedback. Okay? Positive ba yun? Okay ba yun? Yes, actually. Pwede yun. Pwede gawin yun. Effective siya. So, hindi ito yung tamang sagot. Kasi except eh. Ang hinahanap natin, except. Alright? Letter B. Be open to exemptions every time a learner misbehaves in class. So, whenever na, na nagbibisbehave si bata, meron kang parating exceptions. Tama kaya yon. Babalikan natin. Babala, babalikan natin si letter B. Letter C, communicate and reinforce school policies and procedures clearly and consistently. Of course, for them to avoid uh, not following the rules, it should be communicated well to them. It must be clear to them kung ano yung mga rules na ito and it must be consistently reinforced by the teacher. Hindi yung sa umpisa lang yung klase ang rules and regulations, okay? Consistent po yan hanggang sa uh, ending ng school year. Okay? It should be consistently Im, uh, implemented okay, by or reinforced by the teacher. Alright? So, pwede din. Alright? Letter D and C na lang. Okay? Letter D, behave, uh, handle behavior problems promptly and with due respect to learners' rights. Okay? Um, we do not uh, we do not employ uh, corporal punishment here. Okay? Hindi na po yun uso. If definitely mawawala po yung kapag ka na-report kayo, napatunayan, na patunayan, na malo kayo, or 
uh, you employed corporal punishment, then po pwedeng manganib ang pinaghirapan ninyong lisensya. Okay? So, we always have to respect the right of every learner. Okay? So, po pwede ba ito? Yes, actually. Yes, dapat nga lang. Yan. Okay? We reinforce the rules and regulations. At the same time, we still respect, okay, the rights of our students. So, ano hindi pwede? Okay? Ika-cancel na natin din si letter D. Kasi po pwede siya. Remember, hinahanap natin except. So, letter B hindi pwede. So, letter B is the correct answer. Why? Kasi, be open to exception. The term, every time. So, every time na lang nang may, mas, mas, may, may mag-misbehave, may exemption ka parate. Ibig sabihin, hindi mo na na i- hindi mo na na i-impose itong rules and regulations mo kasi maka, parati kang may exceptions. ba diba? So, hindi na at uh, consequently, yung mga estudyante mo, hindi na sila matatakot na na evaluate yung rules and regulations mo. Kasi mara, parati namang may exceptions eh. Kaya okay lang. Okay? So, hindi na siya nagiging effective classroom management. So, letter, the answer here is letter B, using cancellation. Alright? So, that's the second technique. The third technique is finding which of the op which of the option is the wordiest. Okay? Ano yung pinakamahaba na sagot dyan? Which, word, which one is wordiest? Min ginamit ko to actually when I took the examination. Ano? Pero tignan ninyo. Halimbawa dito sa item na ito. Ano? So, a preschool teacher is thinking about how best to develop the fine motor skills of the four-year-olds which of the following should be the best to consider? So, when we say fine motor, motor skills, so these are the skills in making movements through uh, the use of uh, muscles. Okay? Okay, we have option A, provide coloring book activities. B, ask children to eat independently. Encourage a variety of fun and challenging activities. Letter D, conduct a variety of fun and challenging activities including hand muscles daily. It's very obvious which of the option is the lengthy, is the word yes. Okay? Pero you need to consider, okay, ang, oh, ang, ang, ang direction sa let, choose the best answer. So, all of these options can be used to develop fine motor skills. But which one is the best? Okay? So, kapag i-apply natin which one is the word yes, letter D ang tamang sagot. Kasi, yung variety of fun and challenging activities, pwede nyo na i-cover sa letter A. Right? Coloring book activities. Right? Um, ayan. Encourage a variety of fun and challenging activities. Pwede na siyang, pwede nang ma-cater ni letter D. A variety of fun and challenging activities. Right? So, kumbaga, umbrella niya na lang si A, B, and C. And so, the correct answer in this question is letter D, okay? Which is the word yes. Right? It's the third technique. However, hindi po siya parating na-apply. Okay? Yun yung risk nito. Hindi siya parating na-apply. So, not all of the questions pwede mo nang gamitin. Okay? May... may uh, uh, may mga instances na kahit word niya, hindi rin siya yung tamang sagot. Okay? You have to also analyze. Okay? And then the last, uh, the last technique that I'll be sharing is when you're answering a professional education item, prof ed, you always have to put your shoe, your, yourself in the shoe of the teacher. So most items are, I mean, yeah, most items here are hypothetical. So, example, you're the teacher. You have to put yourself in the shoe of the teacher. Siyempre, the teacher is always after the best for his or her students, right? So, yun parate, ano? Halimbawa, okay? So, this question, read the following comments of the teacher. Which of these comments will most likely make a child try harder rather than give up? Okay? So, letter A. Siniswerte ka, siniswerte ka ngayon. Ay, siniswerte ka ngayon dito sa test, ha? Will it encourage the student to try harder? Kaya, okay, swerte lang ba yung naging dahilan kung bakit siya nakakuha ng mataas na score? 
kung ikaw yung naka-receive dyan, mas may encourage ka ba na swerte-swerte lang yung nakukuha mo sa, sa test? Alright? Letter B, hindi ka talaga magaling dito sa paksang ito, no? Mas diniihin mo pa yung bata. Ano? Hindi ka talaga magaling, ano? Dinadown mo pa yung estudyante mo. So, sa susunod, hindi na ako mag effort di ba? Kung ako yung estudyante. Right? Kasi binigyan mo na ako ng judgment. Hindi ako magaling dyan. Right? Pero anong gagawin mo dapat as a teacher? Kahit it's a fact na hindi siya naman nagpo-progress doon, nalimbawa. Pero ang isipin mo pa rin, ano yung best feedback that you can give? So, we only have two options left, right? Nakikita ko na kailangan mong maglaan ng mas mahabang panahon sa paksang ito para lubos mong maunawan ito. Positive naman, di ba? Worthy yes din siya. Okay? Pero is it the best answer? Kailangan mo ng maraming ta- ng, ng time. Okay? Remember, choose the best answer. If you're going to compare that to option D, nahihirapan ka sa paksang ito, maaari kitang tulungan. O, oh, diba? So, ano yung pinaka-best way para ma-encourage mo yung batang mag-effort? Kasi sa letter C, hahayaan mo lang sila. Just give time. Kailangan mo lang time para mag-sumagot, tang- ay, para, para maintindihan yan. Parang, you, what about your role as a teacher? Okay, did you provide scaffolding? Did you provide help to your child, eh, to your to your pupil? Okay, o nawawala na again. Put your shoe, your, put yourself in the shoe of the teacher. So the best way here is letter D. Kailangan honest, honest, uh, honest, honest feedback ang bigay natin. Nahihirapan ka based sa result ng assessment. Nahihirapan ka sa paksang ito. Dapat malaman ng estudyante na nahihirapan din siya. Pero nandun ka para tulungan yung estudyante. Alright? So the correct answer here is letter D. Alright? So, those are the four techniques that you can use in answering let items. Okay? So, pwede nating uh, gamitin yung looking, what's looking at the... Uh, Uh, the diff- what makes or which of the ad- item, okay, finding which item or which option is different. That's the first one. Second is cancellation. Okay. Third, which of the option is worthiest? Okay. And fourth is put yourself in the shoe of the teacher, specifically if you are answering or when you are answering a professional education item. Alright. So, future teachers, I hope that this vlog helped you or will help you in taking your examination. Remember though that these are just techniques that you can make use of. Sabi ko nga, your review is still the best way for you to to pass, to ace your examination. Alright? So, I'll be uploading more tips and uh, uh, some videos, educational videos soon. So, please, if you wanted to Uh, be updated with the latest videos you can uh, please uh, subscribe and hit the bell button so you'll be updated okay thank you so much and bye bye